Hello Geminis, welcome to your August 2019 love reading. So if you are a Gemini um, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, this reading is for you, okay? If you're on the cusp of a Taurus Gemini, um, when I get Taurus's video out today, uh, you may wanna watch that video to see if they both might be resonating with you, okay? Like always, these readings are for the general public, so they won't resonate with everyone. So um, if you would like your own private reading from me, all my links are below in the description box, okay? So, Gemini, after shuffling, uh, shuffling and concentrating on your sign, um, I drew the Four of Swords, the Empress in Reversed, the Five of Wands, the Stork, the Letter, and the Card of Concern, okay? So let's see what I get here for you guys. Now, um, what I pick up right away is um, lack of intimacy or lack of affection and attention, okay? The Four of Swords is a card of inactivity, okay? A lot of times when we see the Four of Swords, we kind of look at this card as, well, uh, somebody isn't really responding, there's a lot of inactivity, uh, it's time. It's like a timeout type of card where no action is being taken, okay? It's, it's more like, um, what is that saying? Uh, I'm not gonna worry about today, I'm just gonna worry about it tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, there could be a lack of attention from somebody you're not getting. Um, the Four of Swords is also sometimes about mental restoration or retreat, recuperation. Sometimes it can also mean recovering from an illness, all right? Um, the Empress Reverse. Now, a lot of times it means burned out, feeling burned out, a blocked creativity or non-nurturing. And uh, sometimes the Empress Reverse can also mean someone who's a little bit smothering. Think of um, an overbearing mother, for example, someone that's uh, maybe a helicopter parent um, or she's giving too much of herself. Sometimes she could be a little bit possessive or controlling. So for some of you, I feel like you might be wanting to take time away from this overbearing person or over controlling partner or uh, the person you're dating for example the empress is more about women but so for example some of you gemini men might be dealing with a very um, controlling or overbearing woman and you're trying to find time to get away from her you just need time for yourself um, but for those of you you still could be a woman dealing with an over controlling partner okay or a man okay um so it, 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 regardless of the gender, right? It's just someone that's a little bit overbearing or sometimes it means not enough, like as if they don't care. Because when the empress is upright, it's about fruition, uh, nurturing someone or wanting love, possibly wanting someone, right? Wanting to be, <clears throat> very sorry, wanting to be the shoulder for someone to lean on, for example. Okay, so sometimes I usually see the Empress card myself as a lack of emotional caretaking. Okay, so this could also be about a lack of confidence because the Empress upright is usually someone who feels sexy. She feels confident, kind of like the Queen of Wands card, right? She's not the same, but the Queen is all about, you know, others, uh, you know, think of a Queen. Uh, the Empress, sorry. <laughs> Think of the Empress as being a queen, right? Where people kind of tend to her like a king, same thing, just the feminine energy part of it, right? So I feel like um, for some of you, what I'd also pick up is possible pregnancy complications caused by too much stress and challenges shown by the Five of Wands card. So um, for some, there could be uh, possibly uh, like fertility issues causing havoc on a relationship. Maybe one of you really wants to have a child or trying to get pregnant and uh, there's been some medical issues because the Four of Swords, I don't know if I mentioned this, sometimes can mean not only recovering for illness, but sometimes it can mean sickness, needing to recover from an illness. So maybe something medical has happened where, I know this is more about love, but for those of you that might be in a committed relationship, or maybe you're not in a relationship, but for, you know, like I said in another video, sometimes when someone's asking me a question, us, or, or this happens to all kinds of readers, sometimes we will see something that has nothing to do 
with a question. And when that happens, it usually means because this message was more important at the time. But I'm just giving you as many meanings possible anyway. So, <clears throat> very sorry so there could be like i said fertility issues um or it could be some of you that are pregnant maybe um having to go through bed rest you know while you're pregnant and maybe this causes your partner to be upset because they can't well you know they can't be intimate with you because sometimes um that's never happened to me, but I've had plenty of friends who told me the doctor said no sex, right? <laughs> um, if, if the pregnancy is very risky or maybe uh, it, there's a miscarriage that could happen. So um, it's it, maybe your partner is being a little bit selfish or maybe they just are just a little bit frustrated because it's like the whole pregnancy and, you know, just throwing that out there just in case it resonates with some of you that could be putting havoc on your relationship, even though it shouldn't. But unfortunately, some people think sex is the most important thing right so <laughs> um so the empress can also stand for a creation of some kind right so when she's in the reverse she can be showing lack of creation maybe some of you thought a relationship would blossom but instead it feels like it's kind of welting at the moment or perhaps you feel like your love life in general is welting away like not enough passion for example and um Something else I gather here is that for some of you, I feel like planning to be single for a while to take care of your own needs and your self-interest doesn't or didn't happen according to plan. Now we are still in the, in the very early, uh, we're in the beginning of the month still, right? So this may have not happened for some of you, but maybe it has, right? So it's like something didn't go according to plan due to other people suddenly causing some excitement or exciting feelings, perhaps. But it's sort of confusing feelings. Like, I feel like it's confusing. It's as if, I want to say it's as if someone came back around and interrupted your peace. At first, it may bring, it was bringing some excitement, right? But then frustration, kind of like, um, what happens when we finally move on from a relationship and right when we feel at peace you know right when we're feeling fine with being single we're finally moving on we're starting to maybe chat with people but we're not dating yet we're kind of focusing on ourselves and then all of a sudden an ex lover jumps in and although you don't mind sitting back watching them beg for you back because it's kind of flattering right but it's also it, it kind of also causes frustration and competition maybe shown by the five of wands card again right and we do have the card of concern showing up here also so this is why i'm seeing more of an issue than a non-issue so this could also be that some of you want to work on yourselves but your partner is not really that supportive they're not being that supportive about you working on yourself or maybe they're just trying to sabotage your efforts with being negative or jealousy maybe you're trying to eat healthy and they're worried that you're going to lose weight and attract all these hot guys because they're insecure and you know although they do want you to look good they also don't want guys stealing you you know sometimes people are like that right no judgment just some people are very insecure so or they think you will, you know, they think that you'll uh, not want them anymore, right? So this can also be about an emotional fight. Or if some of you are just dating casually, maybe you're trying to decide which one is likely to take care of you because you are tired of taking care of everyone. <laughs> Hands up to the Geminis who have been always the caretakers, but don't receive the caretaking in return, right? Right, because see, Geminis can. I know you can, okay? My husband's one. He's, he's a very good, he's a, he's a caretaker. I'm a Cancer, so we're both caretakers, right? So I feel like some of you are really making sure before you jump into a relationship this month, those of you that are single, um, I feel like this time you want to make sure that you won't be the sugar mama or the sugar daddy, right? So let's take a look at the stork and letter card, okay? 
So these two cards represent longing to express your feelings. The stork represents longing for something or sometimes migrating someone from afar. Uh, maybe some of you feel distant from someone or you feel that love in general, like your love life is distant. You know, the letter is about communication, letters, emails, texts, etc. So this shows communication might be transforming, but keep in mind, this could be a negative transformation depending on whether you change that or the other person does, okay? And the reason I say that is because perhaps this is what you crave or maybe maybe it's the advice for this month, right? That communication or communicating your needs and wants is what needs to be changed because, you know, these cards also represent longing for meaningful conversations finding ways to express my dogs want to go outside for a minute they're keep walking in the room hold on babies so <laughs> because these you know uh, finding ways to express an inner transformation for some of you okay now for others this combo can also mean coming back to a repeated conversation that concerns you because you want to come back where you left off with this person or that you just crave closure of some kind or longing for closure so um that's what i have for you so you guys might have been dealing with someone not paying enough attention to you or pregnancy issues or someone that's a little overbearing and you need time away because it's causing a lot of arguments or again there's some kind of closure you need someone needs to open up because regardless of what's going on here it's still concerning a lot of you so that's what i have for you gemini and uh, I hope that helped. Thank you again for listening to me. I will see you guys in my next video.